As a professional photographer, my prints need to look as good as possible, and being able to accurately judge the print on screen is absolutely critical. I'm Nick Rains, and I make my prints on Canon printers, including the Pixma Pro 1 and the larger format printers. It's a common problem that your prints don't actually look like the same shot on your screen. They're probably a little bit too dark, a little bit too yellow, or maybe a lot too dark and a lot too yellow. Now there's a good reason for this and the solution is really quite straightforward. It's called Pro Mode and it's available in all the Pixma Pro printers. So let's look at the problem from the beginning. A generic computer monitor out of the box is quite often too blue and too bright. It looks great, like a big TV, and the colours really pop, but a print, a piece of paper, can actually never realistically be as bright as a screen, nor as punchy. The paper's whiteness will also be heavily influenced by whatever light is shining on it, sunlight, desk lamp, whatever. The point is, the computer and the printer driver cannot know what your screen looks like, nor what your room's lights are like. If you move your print around the room, you can make it light or darker, warm or cooler, just by putting it in different places. As far as the computer is concerned, screens and viewing conditions are an unknown quantity. Now you could hard proof, i.e. make a print and look at it, which is really what the pattern print feature is, is something we have discussed in another video. But as a step up in sophistication, it would be really cool if there was some way that the printer software can actually know what you are seeing on your screen and, better still, show you exactly how the print will be printed. So what you get on the screen is what you get out of the printer. Let me introduce you to the new Pro Mode, a printing option with the Pixma Pro printers when you use the Print Studio Pro plugin, either with Digital Photo Professional or with the Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop Elements and Photoshop itself. Pro Mode works by actually moving away from the out-of-box defaults and adjusting your monitor to a particular look. You don't need a profiling device, you don't need any geeky software, it's as easy as it can be. All you need to do is to adjust the monitor calibrate it if you like to some industry standard settings. You will need to access the monitor's internal menus for this. Each one has its own way of doing this but you need to look for the color or RGB settings. It needs to be showing only sRGB colors which most half decent monitors can do almost by default so no problem there. It needs to be set to a medium brightness which is a little bit harder to measure and, if it has one, the monitor needs to be set to a preset called sRGB. Now, if it doesn't have this, you should be able to find a colour preset called 5000K or D50 in those menus. Use this. What's 5000K? Well, it's just a measure of how warm or how cool the light is that the print will be viewed under. In other words, how white the paper looks, and it's very similar to indoor room light in the middle of the day, which is a mixture of sun and indoor light. Once you have those two things set up, brightness and colour range, the printer driver has a pretty good idea of what you are seeing on your screen, and since it knows what paper you are printing on and how the prints will be viewed, it can make a print that looks very much like your screen. Pro mode is a step up from just making a print and then adjusting the printer's output to get what you want. It gives you a way to predict what your prints will look like with surprising accuracy. It's not a full-on colour management system, but for those who don't want to go down that rather more complex path, Pro Mode will be perfect.